Taking a look at number 30, we're going to first combine these. So I have x to the third times x to the one, so I have x to the four. I have y to the fourth times y to the one, I have y to the fifth. And I have z one times z to the fourth, which is z fifth. Then I'm going to break these up, and I have to have a pair in order to take any out. So I have x squared times x squared I have y squared times y squared and times y and then I have z squared times z squared times z so I'm going to look at my pairs so I have 2x squared, so I'm going to bring x squared down. Then I have 2y squared, so I'm going to bring y squared down. Underneath my square root sign, I have a y left so far. Then I have z squared. Then I have a z left. This is my final answer. The way you could do this is by breaking them down. So I have one, two, three x's and one x. And I'm going to take out my pairs. So I have x times x. Then I have break down my y's. I have four of them here and one of them here. So if I take my pairs, I have y and another set of y. Then I have one y by itself. Then we'll take a look at the z. I have one z. Then I have four z's. So I have a pair and another pair and then I have one by itself. When we combine these we have x squared, y squared, z squared, square root of yz. And as you see this is identical to what I previously showed you. You can use either method and you will get the same answer.